necessary. But, and hear me out, that is not the worst thing about the gameplay of Persona 3. The worst thing by far of Persona 3 gameplay is the fact that you cannot control your teammates' moves. It is the most frustrating, tedious, joy-robbing thing on the planet. I had no idea how privileged I was playing Persona 4 and 5. Some people are going to defend this and say they enjoyed it, but those people are liars. What you liars, huh? Persona 3 is guide your party to an extent by commanding them Okay, so we're starting off like with telling people that they're liars that's it. for liking or enjoying the game or an element of the game. The great, great level, start. Because you got to micromanage for the situation. Entire team being tired, so you're not able to see since your squad, you know, they leave you. But you just want to get this level of tart over with. So you head in a battle, you lose because your teammate used the wrong move, and all that progress you had, gone. This is the type of shit that creates serial killers. Serial killers. This, this is what creates serial killers. Like, okay, I get that you're trying to be entertaining, but this is not the way to do it. And also, if your teammate gets killed in battle, they're just dead. You must abandon their deceased lifeless body if you do not have a revival move and so this is just traumatic in all fronts traumatic this no now let's say you're a determined or psychotic person and won't let the gameplay bother you determined or psychotic so you, you so you can't make up your mind as to which it is okay okay uh all right i think i've seen enough of that hi for those of you who don't know my name is micah and typically i don't really make youtube videos uh and i usually just post my streams and my stream highlights to my youtube channel and there's like a couple of youtube videos uh spursed here and there but today today i'm making a video on a very specific person um who made this video early in uh, earlier this year, January 15th specifically, and he's uh, made some comments on one of my favorite games that I don't agree with, which are his opinions, and that's totally fine. He can have them. It's just that those opinions are shit, especially considering how he went about expressing them. We're gonna start with my notes that I have in this cute little notebook right here. Yeah, cute Japanese style notebook. Okay, so we're gonna start with my first impressions. How dare you? No, really, like, how dare you? Why would you call people liars for enjoying a game that you went back to after playing ones that have come later in the series that are obviously improved upon since Persona 3? Like, that's kind of a big, like, yeah, no shit, it's different than Persona 3. Persona 3 is one of the very early versions of the Persona series that came out. I don't think you would like Persona 1 and 2 just based on how you really tore apart Persona 3. Like, I haven't even played Persona 1 and 2, and I mean, sure, there's probably elements of those games that I wouldn't like either, but Jesus Christ, man. Calling people psychotic is a little much. Calling people liars is a little bit much. And also insinuating that certain gameplay elements of this can create serial killers is also a little bit much. Even if you are just trying to like make jokes and be entertaining, it's a it's a bit much, not gonna lie. This video has more dislikes than it does likes right now too, which understandably so, considering how he demonstrates his arguments and just the, the things that he nitpicks at. Like, he says that he likes the story of the game, but I don't fucking believe it for a second. Second first impression. Um, this is one of the games that I had as my first introduction to the Shin Megami Tensei series, other than Nocturne 3. So, between those two games, those are my first introductory things for the Shin Megami Tensei series, okay? Just to put that out into perspective. Also, how can this game be your worst gaming experience that you have ever had? Like, there's games out there like Darkest Dungeon, Dark Souls, games that are way more intense and complicated in regards to certain gameplay elements than this, okay? Like, there's no fucking way that this is your worst gaming experience, unless you're talking about just within the Shin Megami Tensei series as a whole. Then that's something else entirely. But you didn't say that. You said it's your worst gaming experience. 
Persona 3 is your worst gaming experience? Like, come on. Third and final first impression. I mean, your Tartarus argument is at least decent. Like, yeah, I can get behind the Tartarus argument to a degree. It is kind of a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Let's get on to some of the main arguments as to why people apparently shouldn't be playing Persona 3. Okay, first argument. He says that he hates the game mechanic of your teammates and yourself getting tired because they'll just abandon you while you're in Tartarus. Now mind you, you have to be in Tartarus for quite a while before they get tired. Um, not so much in the beginning of the game because it's a lot easier to get tired at the beginning of the game, but later on in the game it just happens less and less. You can also pace yourself while you're in Tartarus so that you're not having to experience your teammates getting tired or yourself getting tired while you're there. But in my personal uh, experience with playing the game, because I've almost beaten the game at this point now as of recording this video, uh, being tired is a great mechanic because it makes you utilize every character and take care of your character. And I mean, it makes everything a little bit more realistic because you're a high school student who's also trying to save the world at the same time. Like, you're living a double life, okay? Like, it's not exactly going to be something that you have a shit ton of energy for all the time, okay? And it also humanizes the characters while adding an extra level of difficulty while you're playing the game. So, like, I don't get what your fucking problem is. Also, fusing personas is fun. I know that in Persona 4 and Persona 5, you can choose which moves that you get to transfer between personas, which, yes, does make it a hell of a lot easier. However, when Persona 3 and, Pers and Nocturne 3 came out, um, you couldn't, like, you, you couldn't pick your moves when fusing Personas. That only happened once Persona 4 and 5 came out. So, why are you comparing elements that came later from games that came out before those games? Like, clearly they made the improvement later on. Like, sure, it was something that was difficult to deal with, but that, but it was still fun. Like, it, fusing personas was still fun, and, like, if you didn't care about the certain aspects of the game as heavily as other aspects, it wasn't really a big deal. So, like, you could still beat the game without necessarily needing to spend hours upon hours upon hours cultivating your persona, okay? Like, you didn't have to, depending on the difficulty that you were playing on. It made the fusions fun because of both the challenge and unpredictability of fusions. It added to the dark gothic mystery aspect of the story, like, it just added to it. I don't know why you wouldn't have enjoyed that if you actually like, were there for the story, and were there for, like, all of the elements that they were introducing to you, like, obvious, like, you say that you went into this knowing it's a JRPG, knowing that you do a lot of grinding and shit like that, and yet you're complaining about all of the shit you have to do that a JRPG makes you do. And keep in mind, this is, like, an early, early JRPG game, early 2000s, 2006 is when this came out originally. And yeah, okay, not being able to control party members, that argument I can get behind because for a really long time I did not understand how to properly utilize tactics in regards to Persona 3, but once I learned how to properly utilize tactics, that wasn't a fucking problem anymore. So, again, even though you have like a little bit of a good argument here, it's still kind of shit. <laughs> oh, oh, and another thing, another thing, he was complaining about the pacing of the game, okay? Complaining about the fucking pacing. Like, what? From my experience, Shin Megami Tensei titles have slow pacing because they're building the world, immersing you in it, and encouraging you as the player to make it your own adventure. Like, Nocturne 3, for instance, there's not a whole lot that it gives you in regards to what the fuck is going on. You just kind of have to figure it out for yourself. And Persona 3 is similar in that regard, it just gives you a lot more than what Nocturne 3 would do. And having the full moon cycle made it so you could focus on social links and leveling up your main character as a literal person. Like, you're, you're a shell of a dude when you first start, and you have to build yourself, and you have to cultivate yourself. It's just... 
I don't know why that's a problem. Like, it's, it, you're a high school student, and you don't really know who you are as a person yet, you're still figuring that out, still figuring out who you want to be, and you're also trying to save the world at the same time, and trying to make all these connections that will both benefit you in battle, but also just benefit you in life in general. So, I don't know why that's a problem. Like, I don't know how that isn't enjoyable unless you're not actually there for the character building and the character development, because that's a really big part of this game. So, I don't know why that's not enjoyable. And the social links force you to time manage, especially if you want to max them all out on your first playthrough. I have the window open because it's hot, sorry, that was probably a, a truck. You're supposed to time manage fucking everything in this game. Time management is key in regards to a lot of different elements that are happening. Oh god, my computer screen went dark for a second, that scared me. But, yeah. Also, he was complaining that the men don't have social links, but clearly he was playing the male MC version of the game and not the femme MC version of the game, because the femme MC version of the game makes it so that you have social links with the guys and not the girls. So, if you wanted social links with the guys, you should have played the femme MC version. That simple. It's an older game. It's before Persona 4 and 5, where they have clearly improved on game mechanics. Gee, wonder how that happened. Like, I, I don't understand why you're comparing newer games to an older game that came out way before them and, like, paved the way in regards to what they should and shouldn't do for future Persona games. Like, why are you complaining about things that have already been fixed? The only way that I could see you complaining about this shit that would make sense, is if they kept it if they did a Persona 3 remake or remaster, you know? Like, that I could see, like, okay, these are some things that they definitely should have taken out and, like, redid if they were gonna make, like, a brand new game of it. But this is from 2006, okay? You can't go back in time and throw in the shit that they should have done, that they did, for Persona 4 and Persona 5, especially since, like, the console that it came out on, is it even gonna, like, handle that shit? I don't know. It's PlayStation 2 for fuck's sakes. And he suggests that you should just watch someone else play instead of playing it yourself if you're interested. And it's like, okay, if you don't want to play it yourself, why don't you watch me play? Like, I've been playing on stream on my Twitch. Uh, same name as the one that's my YouTube channel. And I'm almost done. If you want to watch, like, all of the past streams and all of the highlights from everything, it's on my channel. I have a playlist for it. Go ahead and watch it if you want. Like, it's up to you. He says he clearly loves the story, but then... But he doesn't, because he suggests watching other media, like the movies, reading the manga, stuff like that. And it's like, that stuff didn't come before or at the same time that the game came out. That stuff came after. S like, way later. So, all you had to experience the story was the game for a really long time. So, just, what? Oh, and as a side note, um, he apparently thinks that the SP is stamina? It's not. It's magic power. It's, it's your magic. So, let's just get that confusion out of the way too, shall we? Basically, don't listen to this motherfucker. He clearly did not enjoy Persona 3, and that's totally fine, you don't have to, but it, don't compare later games that came out with better graphics and better gameplay to Persona 3, because you, it, it, you can't. You can't compare them. They're different. They came out at different time frames. They came out on different fucking consoles. Like, they came out with different technology at the time that they were created. Like, you, it, it, it's not comparable, dude. It's not. The story for Persona 3 is so compelling and so wonderful. And, like, I don't understand how you couldn't have enjoyed it if you actually enjoyed the game. Because, like, yeah, there's parts of the game that suck. I'll give it that. Like, not being able to control your party members is a bit of a awful thing to deal with a little bit to a degree until you figure it out which took me fucking a long time okay and then 
like Tartarus. Tartarus is not all that awesome either. Like, it's just a whole bunch of floors and grinding and boss fights, which, I mean, sure, can't always get behind that. And yes, there's been times where I've been very annoyed that I've had to do grinding in the game, but you know what? You gotta suck it up. It's a JRPG. It's literally a part of the whole... It's a part of the JRPG. It's a JRPG, for fuck's sakes. It's a part of it. It's just a part of it. Grinding is a thing. It's not great, sure, but suck it up, okay? That doesn't mean that the whole game sucks. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't play it. And it doesn't mean that anybody is a liar for liking the game, because I fucking love the game. It's great. And it doesn't make people serial killers just because of certain aspects. Certain parts are definitely not traumatizing. It's just fucking gameplay. If you're traumatized by your buddies being dead laying on the ground, in a video game, well, maybe you shouldn't be playing those kinds of video games. Maybe you should be, I don't know, playing Harvest Moon, something a little more wholesome, Animal Crossing. Like, not something that is focused around death, because this Persona 3 game, it's all around death. If that isn't, like, a very clear factor in the story, very much about death, very much circles around it. Like, that can be a traumatizing subject for people, sure. So maybe don't play the game if you find that traumatizing. Just a thought. Maybe don't insult people when you're trying to get your opinion across. You know? Like, honestly, it seems like a lot of people, like if I scroll down into the comments here, like this, the top comment that I see here from a month ago says, if P3 was your first, it says, quote, if P3 was your first Persona game, then I doubt you'll have the interest to even finish it, which is something that he said in his video, that's what they're quoting. And then they say, it was my first Persona game, and it is my favorite. Because it's a really good fucking game. Not only is the soundtrack amazing, but the storyline, the characters, everything that is put into this game is a lot of fun. Now yeah, there are some things about it that aren't perfect, but I mean, again, it's a game from fucking 2006. It isn't gonna be perfect. It's an old game. It deserves a remake or a remaster. I've been saying this for a really long time, especially since I started replaying it. So, like, again, I don't I don't know what you were expecting by going like you played Persona 4, you played Persona 5, and then you're like, fuck it, I'll go to Persona 3. And then you get disappointed by the graphics, the pacing, the grinding, just all of this other shit, and it's like it's a game from 2006 that's the predecessor to the games that you love so much, and just, you can't compare them, man. You just can't. It's, 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 I'm done. Okay, I'm done. This is a video that I've had on the roster for a while, and I just wanted to say my piece because I just don't agree. I don't agree, and... Like, I'm purely judging this person based on this singular video alone. And just from, like, the comments and some of the things that he has said throughout the video that they just rub me the wrong way. He rubs me the wrong way. I have no interest in watching any other videos that this person has made. Because, like, again, he's just so rude. Okay, it's just his opinion. <laughs> yeah, someone here said, okay, it's just his opinion. Him. People who said this game is fun is lying. Oh, this boy just believed what he want to believe. Yeah, like, so many people do not agree with you. And, gee, I have to wonder why. Anyway, yeah, that's all I had to say. Because I am a petty bitch. So, like I said, since he suggests it so strongly, watch me play Persona 3. Go into the playlist. T take a look. Take a look, check it out. Like, I have a fun time playing it. I'm enjoying myself. I'm nearly almost done beating it. So follow me on my Twitch and you'll probably see me beat the game as well as some other games, including Persona 4 and Persona 5, because I'm going to be playing those on my uh, Twitch channel as well. So yeah. Anyway, this is a really cool shirt that matches the theme of this whole thing. Take a look. Breathe it in. And yeah, that's me. This has been Micah. This is my really chaotic video of taking the piss out on somebody who has a really shitty opinion on one of my favorite games. Okay. Alright. Goodbye.